Alright, so, comes back another video, and today we got some Blunarius Swamp a phone game, so uh, if you didn't know, we're normally an iPad player, uh, but today we'll be playing on the uh, telephone, or Android phone instead, so uh, yeah, and it's going to be post-commentary, because uh, we recorded these games while we were in the library, because we were uh, doing a quick break for study from an exam that uh, ended, it was like an in-person exam, I do like a physio degree, and uh, yeah, it ended with, um, do you think you've done enough? So, you know, yeah, that kind of wraps up how badly that went. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I've got my phone in this poster recording, it's about to die. So I'm going to grab a charger one second, I'm not going to even pause the commentating. Okay, here we go. Nice. Anyways, alright, so for the first game, like Super Balloon Boost, Price Gouge, Super Eco Boost. Uh, yeah, fun little strat. Not too serious. Load of tier 4 powers, all the, the middle tier 4 powers. I uh, realised it's kind of funny. But uh, yeah, it's kind of bad against eco strats, and this was an eco strat, so. <laughs> was never going to end well. But, um. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was never going to. Uh, it's never going to be easy uh, to win this game. But uh, we, we will show you what we can do. So uh, yeah, we like both Farm Boomer on this map. Uh, Darling Farm Boomer is pretty, really strong as well. With the uh, anti tool particularly. But um, you can just boat pull BFBs are so much nicer. You need to get like a later BIA up then. You don't need to cash out. Let's just send a load of Moabs of course. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit more comfortable of a game with this. And uh, yeah, so we've got our Puma in that wider spot, which is um, pretty good for anti stall. And because of him ecoing, we go for that fairly quickly. And it's cheaper to have up than uh, too far to shooting boats. And we'll also defend round 8, and means we don't have to do anything to that as well. And in the meantime, we can just eco on. Uh, eco, oh, we can, yeah, uh, farm on. But we're also going to uh, send in some eco balloons to. Uh, See what powers he's looking at. So if we see a lightning, then it means we uh, can't really rush round uh, until until like uh, BFBs and that. But um, if we see like an acid, then we can try and super balloon boost in some stuff a little bit earlier on. Uh, potentially, like some yellows might be quite tough, especially with a prize carriage. I would prevent him getting his reactor up and force a boost. But uh, yeah, he had lightning, so. Not too much more we can do right now other than just farm on. My farms are kind of weak. <laughs> you know, we got eco and a strong anti, -st a fairly strong anti staller. Round ten will start before three minutes, so I'm fairly happy with that. And uh, yeah, hopefully the the audio works on this video today. That was quite annoying on yesterday's video, just not having any sound. Uh, yeah, really weird why that happened. Uh, I couldn't edit it. I don't think sound, when I upload from the YouTube app, the sound doesn't work unless I've edited the video on iPad. But there's not much storage on the iPad. So, when there was a 25 minute video, it can mess it up a little bit. But, uh, oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, yeah. Still getting free subs. That was pretty huge. Thanks to everybody who subscribed. If you haven't subscribed already, then uh, yeah, subscribe because um, why not? Anyways, uh, back to the game. Yeah, we're basically just looking for BIA here. He's trying to prevent it by forcing us a bunch of upgrades. Uh, we fairly well handle it, and uh, he's going to keep sending this on, which is kind of annoying. We kind of prepare for it. We see there's quite a bit of stuff going on here. Probably could have sold the boomer and gone for a destroyer here. But uh, we just sold the uh, 10 farm and be like, alright, we'll just, we got we got a, a boat, we'll just BI around later. Yeah, we got 480 eco as well, which is not too, not too shabby. So, uh, yeah. Just collecting money from the bananas. As soon as we see the pinks come on the screen, we try and micro this, our phone micro is really slow, but we do just about get up in time still. 
he uses that tiny rush in there that's not going to do anything that's just a waste on uh, by him you'd have to think quite a bit to uh, force a sell and uh, even if he no, he would never force a sell because we could just turbo charge and he wouldn't have been able to sell enough to force us to turbo charge more than twice and uh, two probably defends most of things we had two boats to sell a lot of defense down so yeah so yeah, now we're just going to uh, chill and farm uh, BFB's. He's playing what, what I think is the best stalling strat in the game. And there's a decent sub spot. It's uh, really hard to go through this. Yeah, unless they randomly choke or something. But <laughs> I guess it's not the best map for it because the AI is quite far away from the uh, the reactor. So if they like, choke the reactor spot or forget to glue strike or something like that. Or miscalculate or oversend. There's a few things that can go wrong for them, but if they just don't oversend, get their reactor up and glue striker, and then there's nothing you can really do too much. Not much you can really do early in the game. So, uh, yeah. He sent us in a Moab, so we, uh, we're we just going to turbocharge this. Uh, we don't even need to sell anything to turbocharge it, because of how long the map is. And we turbocharge that just fine. Uh, we decided we also don't really need the, uh, the uh, anti-stalling spot from that boom anymore, so we'll get it down here. It's uh, the best spot probably for a uh, that doesn't max anti stall. I never send him in a BFB pretty spontaneously, <laughs> pretty instantly, spontaneously at the start of the round. <laughs> was even at the start of the round. Ah, oh, well, we send one in, <laughs> and then we're gonna space in loads of uh, camo leads so that if he gets up uh, jitsus, uh, they're gonna get blocked off and do less damage to BFB. And they're not even very expensive, uh, so you see right away he lightnings. He does have random lightnings, I'm not sure he really knows when to use the lightning, because you'll see in a second, he just uses it again, like, he's not even got any jitsus down at this point. And especially with the other one as well, he had a flash bomb and the reactor down, like, the camo leads aren't doing anything to that. <laughs> but uh, he decided to lighten them anyways. Uh, now the camo leads are blocking off the... Uh, uh, Jitsu, so we see unsabo, so we decide to price gouge to stop him from saboing again, thinking this might be too much. He has still got the boost on for two Jitsus, and he leaks loads of lives, but he clutches up. He leaks 117 uh, lives, so not a bad rush at all. Uh, we now, round 22, cash out the BIA, go for two factories. Uh, we see him send us two Moabs in. He's a quite a strange send. He just wants to. He should just be playing passive so that he can defend stuff. Uh, we can just literally just do one turbo charge and get another destroyer just for good measure, and be completely fine to all of that. Yeah, we're now thinking we've got two factories. Both have more bananas, which are gonna boost in our first super balloon boost. Two BFBs. It's gonna be quite strong. Uh, we keep almost surrendering. I don't like. <laughs> I don't like the phone layout very much. And I'm going to space a load of uh, camo leads again. He sabos. He go for these. Uh, these the ballistic missile. Or missile launcher. Something like that. On his sub. Which is good. He's not going to send us in more Moabs. It's really strange. This in insinuates he's trying to counter here. Rather than defend. Even though it's literally. We didn't need the second at all. That was silly that we sold the factory at all actually. I guess it just looked like quite a lot. Like the, uh, what it should have been was quite a lot. If he was going for that play. Since that play was a stupid play. <laughs> he should have just gone for it at all. We rebuy the factory. And now we're really in business. You think he's barely been ecoing recently. He sent us loads of fast cooldown Moabs. Which drains his eco quite hard. And we've got loads of balloons on his screen. This round's pretty quick round. And around 25. Uh, we've got so much money in hand. I think he's probably just dead here. And he just about lives, but there's loads of stuff on his screen. We're going to super balloon boost in three BFBs, and we've got some camo leads up there because he sold the reactor to get Jitsus for that defend. And I believe his camo leads, he blue strike as he. I don't know really what he's doing there, but anyway, he goes up, ends up going down. To that rush. Not the greatest player, but there. Uh, oh well, we only had two games in the library. 
<laughs> Anyways, into the next game. And see, you got someone a little bit more experienced than the last guy. <laughs> got, um, yeah, we decided to mix the strat up, I believe, again. I wasn't really thinking clearly when I was uh, choosing this strat as well. <laughs> I didn't even choose the uh, towers in time. We were thinking what sounds fun, and I thought we could do like a. I was thinking before we could do like a double jam packed or group balloons and then send like a equivalent of round 32 AI in or like round 16, that would be really strong. But then we chose jam pack because I tested that out and the, the times aren't quick enough for that to work. But we chose Cobra anyway and then we forgot to choose the final tower. I was looking for the Dartling Gunner, but that would have been terrible because we didn't take out the Boomer, we took out the. Uh, oh, we didn't take out the boat, we took out the Boomer, so. He randomly got more water, which is actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, for us. And he's equaling as well, it's very helpful. After uh, dragging the wrong tower on the phone. Yeah, now grab the Cobra down. And, uh, yeah. Set this on last. Grab a pretty early grape shot. Uh, he is echoing, so. Just need to, uh. And he's as much as possible, give him as little money as possible. Four round, um, yeah, 13 and onwards for the opportune moment to rush. And yeah, it's both just doing work. It's gonna Cobra farm, we don't need to send anything really. We could send him pinks to force a double shot. Uh, we might end up doing that. I can't remember to be honest. Uh, looks like we don't, we just gonna grab another wide funds. Also completely fine. Kind of funny how you can see where I'm tapping on the screen. Uh, get a fast streak on our boat just so we can defend stuff. Copy his eco after a super eco boost. Which is uh, good, now we've got a load of eco, can cobra farm a little bit faster. We really should be sending in some blacks or something at him. Uh, he should not be allowed to greed this hard. I just hate changing to the balloons page on phone, so <laughs> I just end up just cobra farming instead. Come on. Come on, me. Come on, King Boo. Send in, send in some balloons. God damn it, King Boo. <laughs> send in blacks. God damn it. <laughs> Why am I not sending in blacks? <laughs> oh my goodness, he's been out to greed so hard. <laughs> send in blacks. <laughs> If we had copy eco, then we'd have literally won right now. <laughs> Just yellows, early yellows, GG. We're playing like we have power lock, honestly. This is so weird. <laughs> Finally, 2 minutes and 24 seconds into the game, we send in yellows. Get a lightning bolts. Quite early on, which is good from him, because if we had power lock and we did a little bit later, then... He'd have definitely been dead. <laughs> but now I'm not going to Cobra farm on. We want to do the jam packed play, but we're also kind of thinking uh, if he doesn't have village, or even if he does have village, adjustment could get really strong. Uh, especially with some of the, uh, with the eco we have is so strong. Round 9, 6, 79 eco. With about 8 Cobra farms down, he's uh, really strong. Even with the wrong strat. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's very fortunate to get the mortar, but uh, it's technically the wrong strat. Well, that should be our clickbait for today. I have just decided. You've already seen it. You've clicked on the video. But, um, yeah, winning with the wrong strat. Oh, we might win, we might lose. Ah, no, the title's going to be winning. You're going to know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we just go for Sigma Flare on this mortar. Just, um... Yeah, just a bit cheaper to not get camera detection on that bow as well. We could move the water higher up. Uh, we get a few adjustments straight away because we're thinking maybe around 14 we could jam packed in some um, uh, camos. I then just refought and thought it's really an expensive rush. It drains loads of the eco that we've gained. And uh, we're not going to be able to send in that many and you can probably just sabre or do stuff to it. Adjustment's going to be way stronger. So we change our mind and we go for 
huge, huge adjustment. And we can, I believe we see some rainbows. Oh, no, we don't see rainbow. Yeah, there's a rainbow out on. Round 14. <laughs> Reds to rainbows. A cobra story. But yeah. Yeah, just keep keep cobra on. Keep adjusting. And now it's going to get really bad. Round 15 is really a hairy frame. He's going to keep ecoing on as well. He needs eco, but he also needs to defend this. And there's a lot of stuff coming up. Look how bad the adjustment just got there on round 15. And 16, it gets worse. Get to lightning bolt that. He doesn't even have a jitsu up yet. He really needs at least a few jitsus for a chance at defending this. He should probably sell his glue gunner. Because uh, that's doing loads. He glue strikers. I'm going to smile because I know that we've probably won. And yeah, we won with adjustment. With the wrong strat. That's still a pretty good strat. Yeah, that's a wrap for today's video. Like, subscribe, and you're here to see you. Have a nice day, see ya.